Nora Snaps Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. Bye, 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 bye. I'll be so excited for this moment. I've actually been waiting for it for like the whole week. This is going to be one of my hardest cooking videos I've ever done, so make sure you stay tuned to see me get very stressed and very angry. No! 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 I'm going to be pretending that I work at a restaurant. I've got to prepare, I think it's seven or eight. I've lost count, but here's a list of all the things I have to prepare. And these are all healthy recipes. Because <laughs> I don't like cooking with sugar anymore. Because I end up eating the whole batch before I can actually get it onto the table. So these are all extremely healthy. So if you're trying to be healthy, these are recipes for you. What's my first thing? Gosh, it's going to take a long time. I'm going to be quick too today, so I can't like be slow at all. Gosh, is there a hair tie anywhere? I need to tie my hair. No, where's the scissors? Gosh, this can't happen in a restaurant. Customers are waiting on me. I have my xanthan gun. Be half a teaspoon, so only like a tiny amount of this. Oh, that's gonna ruin the whole dish and ruin my experience for my customers. Well, I guess the easy thing about being a real chef is that you don't have to vlog it. Because I'm not sure if you realize, but when you like film it, it actually takes a lot longer to cook for some weird reason. I'm being a YouTuber and a chef at the same time. 75 grams of monk fruit golden sweetener. In one cup of water. You can't find my bud. Oh, first thing goes on five minutes, minutes is the video. No! 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 So I'm gonna quickly have to run home and see if I've got any other butter. I'll borrow this. I didn't find my proactive, but I did find some 25% fat spreadable one. And I'm gonna bring this over to the saucepan. Gosh! I've got nothing working today. I'm gonna be I'll go whisk the ingredients until it comes to a boil. Do I whisk it with a fork or a whisk? But if you come and look inside it, it's actually like little like yellow bits. I think that's the butter. I'm trying to like not put my hand like this because otherwise the heat all gets on it. It's actually it's quite a hot day in Australia. I'm not sure why I've got my hair down because I'm gonna sweat. Remember when I made churros last time? So these ones aren't frying though, luckily. They're made in air fry, which made it a lot healthier and a lot easier for me to cook. Now it's definitely boiling. I'm going to turn off the heat and now I'm going to allow it to rest for three whole minutes. I'm not sure if you can see, but I've actually printed myself out like a little schedule for me to do like how exactly I want everything done. Just stir with the wooden spoon until the dough forms. It smells so good, oh my god. You actually meant to use blanched almond flour? I did, I used normal. I think my customer's gonna really like this. I never really understand the point of brunches. It's like, I don't wanna miss out on breakfast just so I can have like a bigger lunch. Like I just wanna have like breakfast and lunch. One egg goes into this cherry mixture. There you go. Yay, all my cherries into the piping bag. Put that in the fridge. In my potato packet they gave, gave me a chocolate cake. Is this normal? Do you get a taste like chocolate cake? I know it's dead, but I'm half to miss a bite into it. it. Looks like a like a chocolate truffle. Oh my gosh, I'm playing biggie with that later. So I didn't realize that brushed potatoes actually have dirt on them, but it says you can use the skin. You just got to like clean them really properly. Okay, so I'm just gonna buy the white potato. I'm gonna try to make sure they're very thinly sliced because I hate thickly sliced chips. They're just so gross. Like this would not make the cut. You need to get cut more. If I could pick a dream job besides YouTube, it'd probably be a fashion designer, which I already get to do. I actually really enjoy cooking lately. Like I think maybe before why I didn't like it as much because I never used to do like healthy recipes and like we always used to do like cake and like cookies and that sort of stuff, but I've been really enjoying cooking like actual dinners now. It's very therapeutic actually making the first. Very therapeutic, but I'm not sure. I think I need to be a bit quicker. They're not therapeutic anymore. It's not even the only chef in the kitchen. There's so many potatoes I've chopped up so far. That is a very full bowl of potatoes. I've actually chopped up all of these potatoes. I'm just trying to stack all the potatoes on top of each other and cut them so I like, have less to do. I've actually got a really good idea for a restaurant because I love like how fancy restaurants are like, it's really nice to go with someone you love and like dress up fancy, you know, and all that sort of stuff. And it's like a really like posh like, situation, but the food there just sucks and you have to pay a lot of money for it. So I want to make like good, like fancy food, but like the good, like, like fancy chips and chicken nuggets. You can like get dressed up fancy and eat like unhealthy food. Remember when I copied Chloe Ting's like workout meals? Nancy was the only Norris who ate them. And Nancy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for eating my food because it felt really nice when I like cooked something for a long time and so I like enjoyed it. Yeah, well, back in the sister, I think I'm back. I'm, my I'm actually cooking the potatoes in air fry in the bathroom because air frying, it makes a loud sound and doing it in this kitchen when I'm trying to film is just not a good idea. In a baking dish, put some tomatoes. Nine hundred tomatoes into your baking dish. Where'd the scallops go? Where are they? They were here before. That is honestly the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. Oh, 
team. It was like here a second ago. I don't know where I would put it. I'm going to have to watch the footage back and work out where I, where I did it. <coughs> so weird. This is so weird. Now we're going to put this in the oven in for 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I've got to cut like a whole massive thing of chicken. I'm not sure how I got this because in Australia we're like having a chicken shortage. I'm going to put some gloves on for this one because I hate touching chicken. Eating raw chicken can make you very sick. We've tried, Naz has actually tried raw chicken when she was like what, four, three? And she got like extremely sick. Luckily she didn't die doing this. I'm getting more used to cooking with meat now. First time was just gross but now I was like, now it's not too bad. These are going to be made into patsu and chicken nuggets. So I'm trying to multitask like what they do at a recipe at a restaurant. No one's gonna have a chicken nugget this big. So I've got to crack in four eggs into this delicious little bowl. Let's get... No, I got a bit of them cooking the other day and look, it's blistering. Where did I put my breadcrumbs? No, no, these aren't here. I think I'm gonna lose because these are important. So I've got to grab, go run to the other house and grab some cornflakes. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. I can't believe I haven't got any breadcrumbs. Is that true? I should crush them up into a finer paste maybe. It's gonna be like a main dish, like all the kids menu. Gosh, this is taking way too long. My customers, I hate when you have to like wait at a restaurant for like a long time. I bet I'm gonna like find like that, I've, that I actually had breadcrumbs all along and I'm gonna feel so defeated. I'm gonna put these aside. I feel like it's leaking. Lots of people will be really unfamiliar with this. This is Australia's Delicacy Milo. It's like a chocolate malt thingy that you put into your like milk. You more put milk into your Milo because us Aussie kids, we love just to moist the whole thing just like with a tiny, like a tablespoon of milk for the whole thing it is. I'm joking, but. I would if I could. I oh, know, how do you get this in? I'll add it when it's baking. Driving down the, border the pasta just got out and look at how delicious it looks. <gasps> That's next level. I'm gonna mix it with like a wooden spoon. <gasps> it's hot, but it's, oh my god, this is so good. You always like the one that always gets you psyched. We've been drinking all the time. How good does that look? My gosh. Pat on the back. I'm gonna pour some of my pancake mix into my baking dish. Now let's add 100 grams of milo to this pancake batter. Let's just do 75 actually. Oh, oh, it's boiling! Put this one into the oven. Now, second last thing we're making is a patsy oo. We probably don't really need all this, but we're gonna cut the leaves off. Let's make the sauce. Need 90 grams of dark soy sauce. How am I gonna get 90 grams of soy sauce? I'm working like this. It's like a leaking tap. Yes, we're done. Ooh. All these recipes will be at the end. Need another 90 grams of this. God, I can't screw it. God, why do they make this so hard to open? Like, how am I meant to open this? Thank you for staying with me. I'm just not sure how many gets open. I need help opening these two bottles, and I know one person who can help. Let me get Ah, Papa. He's come out. He's just, he's just on the Where is he? Oh, no. God, how am I going to make this work? Oh, I scraped myself really bad. Look, I've made myself bleed. God, I can't open this. I'm gonna get Papa help me with that one. Oh, I think I got it. Mm. Cook the garlic and chicken. I've got my minced garlic here. Ah, ah! Oh, it's right at me. Ah, good. Careful. Ah! Oh, it's raining garlic. Ow! Oh, I want to cook it, but I can't. It actually looks really delicious if you ask me. Come look at it. Nice egg. Eh? Now I'm going to move this to the side by cracking two eggs. Quick, I've got to scramble it. Go move, go move. It's going to scramble quite fast, actually. And then I've got to transfer this to a plate. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm going to push this all into a bowl. Get all this stuff out of there. Did I hit you in the head? Sorry, legends. All the chicken's here, now I just gotta cook the noodles. What have I got in now? My oyster sauce and my soy sauce, I couldn't get it open, so I'm just using all dark soy sauce. Let's hope this works. Now let's add these noodles to the smoky hot pan. This looks so good. Look, it's not really caramelizing the noodles like it said it was gonna. Now let's add this stuff back in. Everyone's gonna love this because Biggie and Nancy, they love noodles and they've never really had noodles before. So, well, they've had had it, but like not like proper patsy. Well, they have had patsy like this, but never homemade like this. Here's this. <laughs> Some good stuff. I'm almost done. Just need to put the, air, chair, the chairs in the fryer and put this into the oven and I'm done. Yay! Look, I made the famous TikTok pasta. And some oh the chicken. Everybody loves here. Just put it into that. Okay, okay. They look like little bulbs. They look like slugs. They look like bulbs. 
I mean, I do look at books, eh? So now I've just got to try clean up all of this mess. So the, I tried to air fry the churros and they didn't work, so don't make the churros I made. Ladies, what have I told you? That this cooking video took five hours to do. Gosh, that took a lot of work and I think I'm sweating. Can you please subscribe? So then I can do this again and I can cook for another five hours. That's the longest cooking I've ever done. I cook for five hours straight, it's crazy. Okay, anyway, let's just catch me up. Nora Snaps Fashion. We design this with passion. Nora Snaps Fashion. fashion.